I love beautiful souls. Brittany here. Um, and so I feel that I really wanted to share today, um, as it's become clear to me, um, how much has just kind of settled and strengthened and evolved inside my heart and mind over the last few years. And when I became aware of one of the older videos that I had made that is the main one on my website and my YouTube, I realized, hey, it's totally time for a little bit of an update. And I feel predominantly where the shifts have happened is, is in the recognition that I'm not on this earth to be an A Course in Miracles student. I'm not on this earth to be an A Course in Miracles teacher. I'm on this earth to follow the steps that are presented in the A Course in Miracles, but to ultimately experience what it points to. And I know without a shadow of a doubt that I have experienced that I am God's child that I can trust in him and trust in this power that is greater than myself, no matter what, and give my entire life and being to this light, to this love, to this power that I, that we call God. And um, because of that, what happens in my life is an unfoldment of miracles. And miracles, I have come to learn, are first, yes, a change in perception, a change of mind. But then ultimately, they fall to form. They, they, they are experienced here in this world because ultimately we've chosen to be inside this time-space continuum for a while. Um, and because of that, miracles are our tools here to collapse time and to bring that moment of perfect peace closer to our awareness for us and for all the world. And so since that is my everyday experience, that literally miracles happen in my relationships, um, inside myself, um, and then in my life to ensure that I'm continually taken care of, everything is provided for, um, I, I'm realizing that this also extends from me saying yes, wholly and completely to my part in this universal plan for peace. And my part specifically is saying yes to particular projects that have been given us that are extending from what has now become and blossomed into a company, a business that's going to be run in this world. And at first it wasn't going to be a business, it wasn't going to be a company because we knew we just wanted to give these gifts. We wanted to first give the gift of what was the Center for the One, you know, a brand new education center here in, you know, for the world. It evolved into what is now the Universal Mediation Program that, you know, came as wanting to just be like a conflict resolution program that we offered at this school but now it's a literal app like a mediator in the form of computer software that people can use and this has become our main focus for the last four years because it is one of the four massive projects that we have in our pipeline at our business which is called makeshift rda and um and and the universal mediation program is the one that we could actually complete ourselves right now today so we literally gave our entire life to this project we've given our entire you know everything to it this is our job we wake up every morning and we work towards completing this app which is now completed and and it's it's already launched into its first stages and and now we are going through the steps of bringing it into the world you know um, and so I just wanted to say that like purpose is the central focus that our mind must have and say yes to and realize that this pur this purpose encompasses our safety it encompasses our happiness it encompasses our um, everything that we could possibly need in this world to live and to thrive and this has just continued to be an experience over the last five years of time that I've been together exactly baby that we can trust this power, we can put our entire faith in it, and it will take care of us, and it will provide for us. And so, you know, since little Ella, as you hear me in the background, was born almost six months ago, um, it's literally allowed me to realize that yes, right now I've said yes to the part in, in being a mother, just like over the last years I've said yes to being my part as a course student and teacher. Um, but being a mother is not who I am, but it is something that I take and accept and say yes to fully and completely and entirely, and I'm so joyfully experiencing this process. But I'm realizing that Beyond that, again, is I am a child of God. Therefore, I am still devoted to my purpose. And my purpose is helping and healing the world as I help and heal myself. What is that in another language? Salvation. What is that in another language? Freedom. What is that in another language? Um, 
I don't know, restoration of all the world, of the sonship, of my brother and sister souls, of, you know, um, light on earth. Like, let's bring light to earth. Let's bring heaven to earth. Like, this is my goal. This is my focus. This is my motive every single day of my life. And I was taken completely out of the conceptual realm and down to the, the, the literal experiential realm. And it happens every single day, and it's incredible. And I just feel like I'm at this point where I'm diving into all of these aspects of human experience that have evolved from the platform of Course in Miracles. So I don't know if I will, and I probably will, you know, continue to, to read on the course and, and document it through that as my example. But I feel like it's it's expanding to include the sciences and technology and um, really reconnect with that younger Brittany who really wanted to be a scientist and, you know, take all of these laws of spirit that I've accepted and applied and that I'm living through and allow them to be translated into different languages for different people people all around the world to understand and relate to and communicate with and connect with and that is what I feel like my soul's calling is at this time to communicate in all these different levels and avenues and um and so that's where I am and that's you know what what I do and so anyone who kind of comes to my YouTube channel at this time can learn um through me as I'm learning you know how to apply these laws of spirit to parenting um you know to to technology to science to all these different things that inspire me big time and also um into how to operate and run a company here in this world that's not based on money and getting but solely and completely based on giving and and to allow this law of giving as you would receive to become actualized in every single facet of our human experience and to know that we can rely on it, we can trust on it. And uh, to be honest, that's how we ended up living in our little beautiful home here that's perfect for us is by trusting those laws completely and entirely. And so I'm willing to answer any question. I'm willing to follow any prompt. I'm willing to offer any inspiration. I'm, I'm willing to give any gift that is going to further advance the sonship and, and the souls and the light beings on this planet. Um, and so I know that uh, I truly do want perfect happiness for everyone here and knowing in my life that it is possible, I know it's possible for you too. And that we do have this internal teacher, what the Course calls the Holy Spirit, what others call the Divine Mind, what others call the Voice of Reason, um, you know, uh, a higher self. This voice is literally inside of us to guide us and lead us and to heal our minds. You know, yeah, it's one thing to heal our bodies, but our bodies are the effect of our minds. So when we heal our mind and accept ourselves as whole and complete already, that worthiness, that, that complete confidence radiates through the body and out through our life and out into everything that we're doing. So we're looking for a whole and complete acceptance of the truth of what we are so we no longer waver, so we no longer falter. And if we do waver and we do falter, that's okay. There's practical tools that we've learned and can learn of how to get ourselves back on track of how to heal our minds again, of how to remember that a mistake is just a mistake and we're forgiven for it, and to accept that forgiven perception and rest back in that state of peace. So this is what I want for all of us. We're all innocent. We're all loved. Yes, we make mistakes, but there's correction for those mistakes, and it's correction that matters, and little Ella is agreeing. So let me just bring her over here so y'all can see how amazingly incredible she is. Hold on. All babies are, but I love my baby. Hold on. <laughs> she sees her little keys. So I love you all. Thank you all for your presence in my life and just kind of being um, part of these uh, videos and gifts that I've given over the last many years. I will continue to give these gifts just in a little bit of a different light. And so feel free to take part. Feel free to join in. Feel free to message me or reach out. I'm literally here to communicate with the people and join with the people and literally bring forward this new earth together, this new world together, heaven on earth together, and we all have a specific part to play in it. So let's all dive right on in, cultivate that, that peace, find that purpose, and let it shine throughout us into all of the world. I love you, beautiful little souls. Say hi. Want to say hi? Yeah. We'll see you soon. Bye.